Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install an Nginx web server on your Raspberry Pi. Now, I have my Raspberry Pi right here, which is running the Raspberry Pi OS Lite version, the headless version. Um, you can pretty much use any Raspberry Pi OS version or Ubuntu for this tutorial. Um, if you don't already have that set up, I do have a, another video on this channel that will walk you through the process of doing that and enabling SSH access and pre-configuring uh, Wi-Fi credentials and all that stuff. So check that out. Um, but if you're ready to go, let's go ahead and get right on into the tutorial here. Okay, so the first thing we are going to do is to log into our Raspberry Pi via SSH. So I'm going to do that with SSH Pi at the IP address and hit enter. And uh, my Raspberry Pi user, his password by default is Raspberry. So I'm going to type that in, hit enter, and now we are logged into our Raspberry Pi. Okay, so good practice. First thing to do here is to update and upgrade all of our packages. So we can do that with sudo apt update and this will just make sure that the list of packages that we have on our system um, are up to date and it looks like everything's up to date so we can follow that up with a sudo apt upgrade and um, this also appears that everything is up to date so uh, you might have updates that might take a couple minutes but um, we can continue on and the next thing we're going to do is to install the nginx web server so we can do that with a similar command sudo apt install nginx and this will take up um, 8928 kilobytes of additional disk space and uh, you know this will go ahead and do its thing it'll take um, 30 seconds to a minute maybe two minutes to do instead of having you wait through it let's go ahead and pause the video and i'll catch back up with you when it finishes okay guys that's good to go we have nginx on our server and we can verify that it is running with the system ctl status nginx command and you'll see that nginx is active and running now i want to first start out here by showing you guys the configuration file for nginx just to give an idea about where stuff is located so if you look at the etc nginx um, and that's right the, so let me talk about text editors real quick here so um, to look at files to edit files there are a couple different options by default uh, one of them is vim or vi in this case um, another one is nano so you can either use one of those or something else um, to edit and look at text files so i'm going to use vim uh, or i guess i should call it vi in this case you can actually install vim if you wanted to with uh, like we did sudo apt install vim but since this comes default, we can use it. So VI, and then we'll look at ETC, Nginx, sites, available, and then the default configuration file here. So um, <clears throat> got a whole bunch of comments up top here. And inside of this server block, you'll see that we are listening on port 80, which is the default HTTP port. And then down here, you'll see that the root of our website is at this location, var www.html. So let's go ahead and take a look at that location on our web server. So let's go to cd var www.html, and cd is a change directory. So in here, we can look at the file, or all the files in here with ls. And by default, we have an index file here, an index.html file. So what this means is if we open up a web browser, and go to the IP address of our Raspberry Pi, 192.168.0.136, we will see that we see the default Nginx landing page. Now, what we're gonna do next is um, kind of make a, uh, our own web page. We're gonna get rid of this one and make our own web page just so you know how that process works. So let's minimize this. And what we'll do is we will uh, delete this uh, index.html file. So we can do that with rm and then index uh, the name of the file.html. And yes, we want to delete that. Oh, that's right. So um, I want to show you something here. You know how we've been prefixing all of our commands with sudo, which gives us elevated privileges. Um, in order to make it easier to work out of this directory, we can take a look here. Root owns all of these, um, well, specifically, Root owns this file and this current directory. In order to change ownership of that, we can execute the chown command and give ownership to the pi user, which is the user that we're logged in as, and the, the pi group as well for everything in this folder, including the folder itself. And we will have to prefix that with sudo 
uh, one last time. And now if we do an ls-la, we'll see that pi is the owner of um, this, this directory. And it looks like we might have to just do a sudo rm uh, to get rid of this file here. Okay, so let's make our own index file. We can do that with uh, vi or whatever text editor you want, index.html. And in here, I'm just gonna paste in some uh, basic HTML code. And I will have this um, linked in the description below so you can copy and paste it if you wanna follow along. Otherwise, you can write your own HTML code here and do what you need to do. So um, this is, uh, we'll just go ahead and save this. And this will, when we go back to our web browser, if we refresh the page, we'll see that we have now our custom page here that says, welcome to my Raspberry Pi. Hello world, this website is being served from Nginx on my Raspberry Pi. So let's spice this up a little bit. I do have, um, previous to this tutorial, I went out on the internet and found a really good picture of the Raspberry Pi logo. It's located at this URL. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna copy that URL uh, and get out of that because we don't need it anymore. Come back to our terminal window and I'm gonna use the wget command to download that image. So you just have to type wget followed by the full path to that image. And what that's gonna do is download that image into the root of our website directory. So now you'll see that we have the Raspberry Pi uh, PNG image in here. So we can come into our um, index file and modify it just slightly. We'll add one uh, line down here that will display that image. So it'll be um, an image tag and the source of that image is going to be that PNG image and the width of the image is going to be 500 pixels. So let's save that file and we can come back here, open up our Raspberry Pi website, refresh the page and that should load in that image and it does and it looks pretty good. So um, there's a lot of different ways we can go with this as far as making your website more sophisticated, adding multiple pages, all that stuff. That's what this channel is all about. I, I didn't say Alexa. That's what, all right, Alexa, stop. That's what this channel is all about. Um, so definitely consider subscribing to this channel. I also have another video about how to install WordPress on your Raspberry Pi. So if that's something you wanna do with that blog uh, capability, check that out as well. Um, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.